Hey guys, it's Elisa here for First Buds, and today we're going to do a do-it-yourself ombre caviar nails. So caviar nails are nothing new. I actually picked up this right here over three years ago uh, when I found out that there was a Marikai store by the apartment that I was living at. I moved out of that place a long time ago, but I don't know if you guys remember that video. I'm like sitting on the floor and I'm like, look at all this fun Japanese stuff. So I also picked this up that same time for $9, which is a little expensive. You can actually go to eBay now and you can pick them up. You just look up nail beads because that's what they originally were called. And there's like metallic ones, there's all different kinds. You can also go to Michael's. They have them in the craft department. Martha Stewart has them in a bigger tube. There's all different places. It's nothing special. So you can save your money. You don't have to actually pick up the caviar nails at Sephora for $25. There's all different kinds though. So personally, I don't like the word caviar nails. I love the beads, I think it's fun. The word caviar nails grosses me out because back when I was in high school, I took a lab bio class where we dissected like all the time and I refused to dissect anything that was female because we had a female frog and then like, oh, it was disgusting. You go to the female reproductive system and there was like the ovaries and the eggs and it was black. It was just so, oh my God, like it was just not cute, I guess you could say. I wasn't ready when that thing opened up. So every time I think of caviar and like a bunch of eggs clumped together, I kind of gross out. So I'm just gonna call these a nail bead video. Super simple to do, it's really easy, you can get really creative. So if you're interested, keep on watching. Before you begin, make sure you use a base coat to protect your nails. Now paint your nails a color that will complement the beads. One coat should work. You just wanna make sure that you have the color underneath in case it shows through later. And now let this completely dry. Next, take your nail resin or nail glue and apply a coat to one third of the nail. I wanna go from dark to light. Now quickly pour the beads onto the nail. Make sure that you do this in the tray so that you can pour the beads back into the container later. Using a Q-tip or an orange stick, push the beads into place. Don't use your fingers as that'll pick up the beads. And this dries quickly, so work really fast. Clean up time, pour those beads right back into the container. Now repeat those steps again, but only apply the resin to the middle. If you don't have resin, you can get it at Sally's, and it does so much. Shower your nails with some more beads, then use your toothpick to maneuver them into place. Now pour the beads back. You can see why I only do one accent nail, and this is why nail technicians get paid the big bucks. It's super tedious. And we do it ourselves to save the big bucks. I forgot to mention, I got my resin from a nail supply store and I use it for my rhinestones and all kinds of sequins and jewelry, glitters, so it's super handy. Finally, add the lightest color to the tips. The resin should be treated like nail glue, so these beads are not going anywhere. To seal it, apply a layer of resin on top of the nail and wait for that to dry. Once that's complete, use your top coat to make your nails glossy. Here's my bonus tutorial. I love this style and it's really simple. Paint your nails and let it dry. Then paint the resin onto the nail. Now take your dotting tool dipped into a top coat for stickiness. Then pick up the beads and begin dotting where you want. You can create hundreds of looks and accents with this stuff. Then let it dry and apply one more layer of resin for good luck and then finish with the top coat. Actually, it's not good luck, it's more like you better stick to my nails kind of thing. So that's all you have to do. Let it dry and you're good to go. And that's it. It's very simple to do. Now if you do the clear nail polish, it's going to last like an hour type of thing. So you really want to do the nail glue because that's what's going to keep it to stay at least three or four days. Of course the beads are going to fall off eventually. So if you're doing it for like a special occasion, then you're going to want to make sure you do it at the latest point as possible. And then, as always, you could take these and do it the original way, you know, make dots into like a bow or star or stripes, because that's what I used to do with this, but then now they're just pouring them onto the nails. So, I'm Melissa, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like for more do-it-yourselves, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!